Hey there. Well, today I'm out here. I'm around grafted pawpaws. Uh, I transplanted these uh, pawpaws. I left a big root ball and I opened up a hole twice the size of the root ball. And what I'm doing right now is, is trying to do the best I can to uh, help them. They're, they're going through stress. Now the one thing that I will say that I like about these burlaps, which this is wet, you wet down that burlap, and inside there, it's a lot cooler than what it is out here. It's pretty warm out here, by the way. We're up into the 80s. But I'm just trying to save these trees the best way I know how. Now, one thing that I do do with seedlings uh, whenever they've been transplanted is take the stress away. And that's what I intend to do today. I'm going to take a little bit of stress away from that. I've got a oh, good eight inch of growth coming off that grass. And it's looking pretty good. But it needs a little bit of stress removed from it. Look how big that leaf is. Man, that's got to be 11, 12 inches long. A good 5 inches wide. That's a graft that I did this year. I, I can't, I cannot believe how well that graft did. That's very, very surprising. Throw that down there to the side. I got another one down here. That I just gently wanted to take off. And there's one more. Now, yeah, you don't like to do that, but you got to relieve the stress, and that's what I'm after. Getting the stress off of that little pawpaw, you know. Those big leaves like that, it's going to go through stress trying to feed those big leaves. And these cages that I've created, they're a, a two by four inch spot weld uh, cage, and uh, they're three foot tall, and uh, they do a good job as far as protecting the pawpaw. But one thing that I have found that I've done, this, this cage is wet, and what I've been doing is misting. I missed that cage. Keep it misted as best I can. Come out here, oh, probably every half hour for today because this is what I do. And get that cage wet. Throw a little bit of mist in there. I found that the pawpaws that I have in the house each day, I would use a little squirt bottle that had a fine mist, and I would mist those uh, grafted pawpaws early in the morning, and I'd mist them again later on in the evening. And it, it kept those pawpaws looking healthy. That in there's not looking too bad. I imagine it's going, it, it's a little bit of a droop, but it'll perk back up now that we've gotten rid of the excess. That right there takes a lot of energy to uh, feed. There's an awful lot of energy going, coming up out of that stock, root stock, to feed something like that. And I wanted to eliminate that stress. That's what I'm after. Let's, let's, get, let's get that stress out of the way. Let's concentrate on keeping this graft alive. Like I said, I transplanted this one, 
and I've transplanted uh, a handful of them. Which this one right here, because the leaves are so big, it was stressed out more than the rest of them. The rest of them, I don't even think I have to take the leaves off. But spraying this cage down, air flowing through there, because a little slight bit of breeze here, but air flowing through there, you know, it's cooler down inside that tube than what it is out here. And it's pretty hot out here. And that, that's the reason why uh, I do that. You know, it just so happened, I didn't think much about that when I made the, uh, the little uh, uh, enclosures, but it turned out to be a plus uh, as far as my pawpaw. I did this with the seedlings last year, and I found last year that the seedlings did very, very well. I've dug all the seedlings up out here, and I've cut my fruit garden down uh, as far as how many I have you know before I had 32 as I stated in the previous video now I'm down to 16 I had them at six feet apart and being at six feet apart it no that's a little bit crowding so these right here are situated at 12 foot uh, intervals now when they get a little bit bigger and they start to flower, I can hand pollinate, but over a period of time, I won't have to hand pollinate anymore because the way I've got it set up. <clears throat> right here I have one, and over there, 12 foot away, I have another. But in a diagonally uh, uh, speaking, the next row, which that row is six foot away, but that six foot I took out and I left one right there, and I left one right there. So we're, we're looking at somewhere between 10 to 12 foot from an angle to those. And it's, it's like I got a tree on the corner there, tree right here, tree right here, got one over there. And as you can see, there's a dirt spot right here where I will be putting another graph and so forth. The lines will be, and I think that that right there is gonna work out very well for me. But anyhow, this is just something that I wanted to share with you uh, that I'm up to, and hopefully it's something that's perking up already. Hopefully it's something that will help you in your journey of growing pawpaws. NC1. My name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell for notifications. Y'all have a God-blessed day.